Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 11 of the Yes Word podcast. I'm Charlotte. I'm Hattie. And I'm Lizzie. Ooh, we're losing two members. <laughs> They're not gone forever. They're not dead no, or anything. Everything's okay. They're just our amazing key workers of the COVID crisis. Absolutely. And we are not. We are at home. I've heard non essential shops are opening from the 15th of June, so oh, yeah. see you all at Schwar and Weems. This is being a hero. Staying at home is being a hero in this climate. Stay at home, stay alert. We're saving lives by staying home. Absolutely. What we should start off with, just off the top of my head, is how's everyone feel about finishing uni? That's it. Yeah, I mean, uh, weird. Yeah, in shock. I agree, how it's yeah. weird. And I it feel. Feels like, sorry. Yeah, go on. <clears throat> it was like we finished a long time ago. Do you know what I mean? Like we came back in March. I only like realised that the other day. It was March. Yeah. And so we haven't. It's that's been so long, and so I just think when I finally finished, I didn't really feel anything because it was like. I wasn't at uni anyway, like even though we were doing work and stuff, it didn't, it wasn't the same. I feel like we finished a while ago, which is sad, but you know. Yeah, it definitely felt uh, anticlimactic when I handed my last piece of work in because I was just sat in my bedroom, I was like, yeah, go on then, I'll hand it in. Yeah. And then, I don't know, I just think because obviously it's not anybody's fault, well, I'm sure there's a source of blame somewhere, but like everybody's in the same position as we are, and I, that kind of makes me feel a little bit better, even though it is shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, even with like not even just uni stuff, like I feel like everyone's in the same boat with life as well. So I feel like yeah. it's easier to um accept that life is a bit shit at the minute, or like it is shit to an extent, and obviously um uni is a massive part of it I feel like students have been neglected by quite a lot of things and, oh yeah 100% um, I yeah. don't know if anybody mm-hmm. saw on twitter mm-hmm. but I I'm not going to name any names or say anything but I emailed one of my tutors and they literally replied back just one word one word no don't you just love asking for help? <laughs> well, yeah. I've got a similar story. Um, probably last month it was, which is quite, yeah, because it's the end of this month now. I asked for help on one of my essays because I thought normally you don't really ask for help, do you, on email? But because of this situation, I thought maybe I'd get a bit more just extra help on this essay I was writing. Never got a reply to this day and it's over. I submitted it. Not one reply. <laughs> Yeah. Like, it's so awful like we need we need some sort of compensation or like our last semester money back because we haven't had the same um services as we would have had when we were yeah in. like yeah but it's online we're doing everything we can well no because john hudson didn't reply to one single email from me <laughs> name and shame name and shame <laughs> So like, just not, not even like a, sorry, I can't help. Just nothing, no reply. Like. And do you know what? Like, I know everybody's going through something. Like, it's a difficult time for everyone. But like, at the end of the day, it's technically was still term time when people are asking for help. Like, what yeah. else would they be doing? They'd be yeah. giving help in a different circumstance. So what? Yeah, we've had to still carry on doing the fucking work. So, do you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. They, we should be expected replies and help. Like, it's ridiculous. And normally then, we to our office hours yeah yeah so and it's this not is the same people keep saying but it's the same it's just online it's not <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely not the same it's not you don't get obviously like the contact hours and and i know this is not anyone's fault other than my own fault but because i didn't technically enjoy my degree anyway which everybody knows already i found it so much more difficult to produce decent work yeah because absolutely And I know it's kind of my own own fault, but you know, like being at home and not being able to go to the library and sit in a space where it's easier to, for me personally, to do work. I was literally like sitting having telly on, like could get up when you want, go and get a snack. Yeah, and it sounds stupid, but like it's the sort of the feeling. Like I didn't feel like I was at uni, so I was so unmotivated. Like I was just chilling at home. It feels like we've broken up for summer, and I. Like, my first thought was, like, what should I do today? And then, oh, I better finish this work. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, like, a uni, it's switched. Just, like, got to focus on work and then we can chill in summer. But, like, because we're at home, it was just, it just doesn't feel the same, which sounds weird. But, like, that's what makes you unmotivated because you're not 
yeah know, definitely environment. and then now uni's over I get up I'm like yeah I'm gonna do a workout I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do this I'm, gonna, I'm like more motivated now uni's over which yeah. makes absolutely no sense whatsoever because yeah. my brain must be just wired a different way <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel you though. Like, I think it it was really hard to just keep going with uni work when we're <coughs> home. Like, it's just not normal. Like, it's just something we're not used to. I feel like we shouldn't yeah. be too harsh on ourselves for it. And um, yeah. what about graduation? Bloody hell! Our graduation has been cancelled. <laughs> yep. Basically, well postponed, but cancelled in my eyes. My my oh, yeah. is over by fucking April next year. Like, obviously, I'm grateful that we still have one. Like. Don't get me wrong, but it is frustrating still. Like, it's not going to take away from the fact that I thought I was going to be graduating in a few months, and now it's a whole year. Like, yeah. I mean, like, by me April next year, we're all going to have like, well, we might have jobs, might yeah. have full time jobs. We might be. It's literally, it is literally a whole year since we would have finished uni, mm -hmm. and that for me, like, I know there's you know coronavirus, whatever, but I just feel it's just. I'd rather them just genuinely cancel it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just ridiculous like I know obviously September is probably not feasible because they're gonna have to put weird things into place and yeah it's gonna have to be dodgy but it's just it's just sad isn't it because we've like been working for three whole years for this like moment and now it's like so far away like it doesn't even feel like exciting at all yeah especially yeah. when not even that long ago we all got the email about it's time to like hire your robes everybody yeah. like and I was I was measuring the bloody circumference of my head Right. Yeah. Yeah. not even that long ago <laughs> but at the same time when they sent those emails out I feel like they should have known that something like this was going to happen and maybe just postpone sending the emails out a bit so I do feel like that it made me dead excited I was like oh my god like they sent it in the middle of coronavirus didn't they really or yeah basically yeah we were definitely at home I don't think I think uni was closed at this point yeah um so like warning and I know obviously everyone to be safe I probably don't know like I'm not that up to date with everything that's like you know people are um what's the word estimating what's going to happen in the next whole month but I feel like they could have waited a bit longer yeah and it could have even been put to November or do you know what I mean just like I feel like cancelling it now and then going straight to April was a bit over the top it or maybe yeah. me being like naive but I don't know I feel like they could have waited a bit or gave us some warning saying it might be cancelled in September yeah. Like, oh, it's over. Because <laughs> it's not like it's in a couple of weeks. It's like a few months away. Like I feel like I don't know. They probably just did it. That's postponing it was best, but it's just I think it's just yeah. frustrating that it is in April. Yeah, I feel like they should have just postponed it and been like, we'll be in touch when we know more, instead of being like, oh my god, mm. April. Because <laughs> that's just it is a bit dramatic. But then again, I suppose we don't know what's going to happen because everybody keeps going on about the second spike. And yeah shit like that so but it is it is getting i know it's like it's an awful thing but it is it is getting it's getting tedious now mm -hmm. yeah. and i don't know about you girls but i haven't been really keeping up with the news anymore because i just yeah. i can't be asked no yeah i know and i don't know if that's like ignorant but it's just no i, feel I like can't you. bear to watch it anymore yeah. i can't mum so my mum works at hospital, and when she comes home, obviously not thinking it's my mum, but like, because obviously that's all they talk about at work, because it's a massive thing at the moment, and like, you know, they're struggling to do all their work, so she'll talk about that all evening, which I know is fair enough, I would, but then it's like, then the news is on, it's talking about it, and I like can't, so in the day, I just don't even look yeah. at it really, which yeah, it could people might think it's ignorant but I just can't handle like all day just surrounding like and it's when people are guessing like on the news when they're talking about guessing what might happen I just think there's no point yeah stressing myself out over what people are guessing is going to happen yeah yeah it is quite like I know again like the whole ignorance thing because I feel ignorant when I'm not watching it but I just think it is it literally puts me in such a negative mindset and I don't know what to do with myself like and I just feel like it's better for me personally it's kind of selfish I guess but to just switch off and not really stay up to date yeah yeah and it's not like you're, we're doing it for like the whole entire lockdown like it's just that i might not like for one whole day i probably won't know anything that's happening do you know what i mean like yeah other stuff keep myself busy I mean, it, is, a bad thing. it is kind of impossible to avoid because even if you yeah. go on twitter or anything there's stuff on there that you see so it's not like 
you don't look at any of it at all because even yeah. like yesterday morning I was sat in the kitchen I was watching a bit of this morning usually that's a you know happy you know quite light program coronavirus yeah, yeah. and it's just overtaken everything that that is Mm. Normal. It was, it was impossible to avoid the Dominic Cummings thing on any social media platform as well. Yeah, Literally yeah. Talk, like. Everything. I was like, did anyone see that tweet where he? Because he was sat at that like table in his garden, money, and he's like, he looks like he's taking tickets at the Year Six disco. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's a like, raffle ticket, and it won a raffle. <laughs> <laughs> that made me piss. That did. That was hilarious. Or like, did anyone see the one way? Because the woman was obviously stood like quite far away from him, mm-hmm. and she's at the microphone. And somebody tweets in, "Louis Walsh's judges' houses look shit this year." <laughs> <laughs> see that stuff. Like, I think that's good because like we have to laugh about something. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we can light a bit. It's good. Otherwise, we'll all be crying constantly. Yeah. Do you know what? I've actually been quite enjoying myself. I'm not, yeah, I'm fine with staying in at home, to be honest. I'm, I'm scared now for, like, the aftermath. Yeah. I'm scared to be leaving my house. Like, what's it going to be like, you know? Yeah. 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 I'm definitely, like, nervous to return back to normal because normal isn't going to be what we know is normal. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be, we're all after where, well, this is just me thinking about going back to work because I don't know when I'll be going back like officially but obviously because I work in retail I'm just like really nervous and anxious about what it's going to be like so I'm probably gonna have to wear like some sort of perspex mask Mm. I'm gonna have to wear like gloves and that but my shop is well my shop (laughs) the shop that I work in is so tiny yeah so small and like our office space is so small obviously I know it'll work somehow we'll have to kind of put markers on the floor and things like that but like how weird is that because normally I go into work I'd be like hi everyone like you'd be dead I'm quite like I wouldn't say I'm tactile but I'll give people I like to touch people's arms or like you know like and customers as well for us people have to try rings on and people have to try the jewelry on how the hell is that going to work I I don't think we'll be able to I'm I have a friend that works in a shoe shop Mm. and they've been told they're not allowed to measure people's feet when they go back to work on the 10th they're not allowed to like touch anyone at all so they're gonna have sizes but then that's so weird yeah in a shoe shop you get your feet measured yeah yeah Yeah, that's weird but do you think also like my I almost can't believe that we just went out and we're touching stuff before and not worrying about washing our hands. Like, even though coronavirus wasn't a thing, yeah. there's so many other diseases out there, but we didn't even think of it. But now, like, I'm thinking, not even coronavirus, do you know what I mean? Just wash your hands if you're going out. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm just thinking all the times we went out to, like, McDonald's and just ate there. And just, like, now I'm just, like, that makes me so scared. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Cause it's, like, <laughs> it's so weird how it just makes you think of stuff. Like, obviously we have to now because of coronavirus, but before coronavirus you should have been doing it anyway yeah yeah, well, yeah exactly yeah. and obviously we were to some degree like we weren't going around do you know what I mean being <laughs> room but like not to this I extent probably which I probably was going around <laughs> being room. like just like, all these door handles and I probably was like putting my fa- hands on my face exactly or like yeah we'd go out to town and stuff and then get a McDonald's and eat with our hands do you know what yeah. I mean like, yeah it just yeah. but that's one thing I've noticed like I'm so bad for touching my face Oh yeah, I'm so bad for it because even when I'm like talking to people, I'll be like, mm. Hi. I'll be like, hey guys. <laughs> and like yesterday, I went to Asda, and it's the first time I've been to Asda in like other supermarkets are available. Um, <laughs> I went to Asda for the first time in about ten weeks. Like genuinely, I've not been to a supermarket in that long, and um, I had some gloves on, but they not obviously not. They're just like disposable, so I chucked them away after for everyone complaining about gloves. Um, and I got home and I genuinely felt dirty, like yeah. I felt disgusting. As soon as I got home, I was like hand sanitizer. I was like washing my hands. I was like, nah. Mm-hmm. It was just like the weirdest experience ever because normally you just go around a supermarket, you pick things up, you put them down. Yeah. If you don't want it, mm-hmm. but now you've got to be so careful about. If you're picking something up, make sure you put it in the trolley. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it was so weird. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been to a um like a supermarket. I've only been to like my local like 
little Tesco Express or co-op or something. Yeah. Um, but like my mum and dad always say like, you don't actually want to go. Like <laughs> it's just a bit shit. Like you just have to like follow lines and like, it's, it's just so weird. <laughs> so, yeah. And my nan's like desperate to go out shopping. She's like, I just want to go out shopping. And my mum's like, no, it's, it's literally not shopping though. It's literally go in, get your stuff and get out. Like it's not yeah. just strolling around with your trolley, like picking up whatever you like fancy. No, it's, it's not very, um, it's not very leisurely. No, no. And I think she thinks it is like how it usually is, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, shall we go through some of the questions slash bits and bobs that we got off Instagram? Yeah, sounds good to me. What shall we start off with? Um, hmm. Let's, seeing as we're on the topic of like Corona, I know we went, I remember last couple of episodes we were like, look, we don't really want to talk about it. But I feel like it's a lot. <laughs> It's kind of an update and it's a lot of what people want us to talk about anyway, so. And we're not going to be like talking at people like, this is the current situation, this is what's happening, blah, blah, blah. We're just. I definitely feel like we're a lot less depressed about it than we were at the start. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, we did not want to talk about the start, we were like, I can't handle it, I don't want to get into it. Exactly, now it's just like, you've got to accept it, and you? It's a thing. Yeah, happening. Um, so. Shall we start off with how you're occupying yourself in lockdown slash what you've learnt in quarantine? Ooh. Well, I think I said earlier that I learned. Oh no, I think was it just once? <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been practicing my doing hairstyles. Yeah. <laughs> Got my bun done, tick, can do that. Never could do just a, it would just fall out. So that's <laughs> the main thing I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, listen know. you've got all the time in the world to do it as well so you may as well yeah yeah, yeah. youtube tutorials on pretty much anything there is out there to be honest yeah, so you can literally. do learn loads of stuff um, i don't know what i've really been doing i've been binging modern family on netflix love to keep myself occupied i've never seen it before so oh, i'm really I've enjoying been it binging Grey's anatomy and i'm in love with that cool yeah um charlotte anything Um, i can't even remember if i spoke about this before but i've just been doing like 20 minutes of yoga a day which has been quite nice and refreshing yeah yeah um what else have i been doing i've just been doing lots of like digital marketing stuff for the business that i set up with carrie so um but which has been quite fun because we've been like getting a bit more creative and like i don't know just just stuff to do with that really so I've been yeah. I've no time to do anything like to sit there and wallow I've just like been forcing yeah. myself to do yeah. stuff yeah I've been yeah. making a lot of jewellery yeah. yes you have oh yeah shout it out about hearts jewels on Instagram go follow it <laughs> but I really like because it's like that how I started before was just I just enjoyed doing it for some reason just I think not necessarily like I love making jewellery it was more the like whole just take your mind off stuff like it was something I could do mm-hmm. like I like, could imagine it's quite therapeutic it really is and now it's like now so that was what it was like before like it was just something to do that kept my mind busy and was really nice like a break um from work but now it's like I actually love making the jewellery and like I've been going online and finding like new designs and that's really fun so yeah, yeah and I keep like I bought like a whole soldering kit oh my god I think that's a good thing I've learned actually I've been teaching myself how to do that with like tutorials for everything so like now it obviously doesn't break up but that takes ages to do but that's quite fun but yeah so I've been it's definitely like a good time if you wanted to learn a new skill yeah people have got the time to do that in terms of what I've learned about myself I've been really trying to work on just not caring what people think about me because um I started doing my youtube channel which I've wanted to do for ages right. and but I was always just too nervous because like do you know like people from school and yeah just like general life and then I've been trying to like make my Instagram look quite pretty shout out consistency mm. please mm. um <laughs> I don't know but now I'm just quite like I've had like my friends have been a lot like dead supportive and dead nice about it and I just thought I was always just so nervous that people were going to laugh about me, but you know what? Now I'm just like, here you go, have a video, have a picture, have a <laughs> selfie. Like, yeah. 
not trying to be like big headed, but I just feel like I've gained a lot more confidence in terms that's of That's good. That's good. That's not big headed at all. That's just normal when, a normal yeah. girl being confident in herself. And especially um obviously because you know you, you both are YouTubers now. <laughs> <laughs> just speaking as a viewer, when you watch someone that's like really confident and stuff, it's really nice to watch. Do you know what I mean? It's like yes, it makes me feel confident. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I agree okay. with you. Yeah. I agree with you. It's nice to see someone confident. Yeah. One thing I was surprised about is, obviously, I've been, like, sharing my things on Facebook, everywhere, really. And turns out my granddad's been watching. And he rang my mum the other day, and he was like, I can't believe how confident she is. Like, she just knows exactly what she's talking about, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, granddad. Because <laughs> obviously, when I'm making a video, I don't think, oh, yeah, my granddad's going to sit and watch this, like, in his living yeah. room. He sticks it on his telly and everything. Oh, that is so really innovative. Cute. Like, my granddad could never. <laughs> Okay. You've got to shout him out in your next video. <laughs> you yeah, I'm right. Hey, Brenda, how are yeah. you? I always forget that my parents, well, not, not my parents, my mum watches them. Yeah. Like, oh, hello. Like, I mean, I'm a bit like, oh, God, like I can hear her watch me in the room, like, oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> Don't want yeah. your mum to listen to, you know. Mm. Yeah, literally. My mum literally watches, she listens to the podcast. She's got like a pair of headphones next to her bed because she loves listening to these. <laughs> My boyfriend listens to every podcast oh. and even listened to the one we did last time about all the girl issues and stuff. And he was texting yeah. me like, what the hell? Like, what, was, what What happened? I was like, you didn't have to listen to the whole thing. But yeah, <laughs> it's just you don't know, forget that people actually want to listen as well. Like, we're just talking and you forget that they want to It really listen. doesn't feel like there's going to be someone on the other end of it listening. It really doesn't. doesn't it's just, it's Especially not. like I forget from what we talked about before we officially started recording to now, do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. just like, we've just had a conversation the whole time. <laughs> and even yeah. like, like oh, some of my old YouTube videos when, well, like, obviously people have been watching since first year and they're like, oh, what, what's Hattie doing in lockdown? And I'm like, it's so weird that like people like ask yeah. what we're doing as well and stuff, isn't it? Like, it's, it's, well, they actually yeah. care. Like, they actually give a shit about what we have to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre. It is. But nice. Yeah. Good I, saw, I saw a question. Go I on. Answer, because I might have some news to tell oh. the podcast. Amazing. Well, no, Charlotte knows. But um, nice. there was one question that said, don't know whether to apply for a master's or full-time job now I finish uni. I officially applied for a master's on Sunday. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing. It wasn't like... I've been thinking about it for a while, but even I don't know, even like even though I've applied for it, I didn't want to say anything before because I didn't know if I was going to or not. And now obviously I might not get in, but um, so it'd be embarrassing if I don't. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was more I was looking into. So this is like answer the question as well because she said, should I get a full time job or a master's? I was looking at jobs like, you know, full time jobs, whatever, with just stuff I was interested in to do with psychology. The course I did at uni. And I started looking more and more into social work. And I'd mentioned it before at uni to Megan and Charlotte. Um, that I quite liked the idea of getting into that because even I, like from researching it, this it goes into so many more like fields than you realise. Yeah. Um, and then it turns out to get into social work, you have to have a degree in it. Um, so the easiest to do a master's degree rather than start uni again. But um, yeah. So that's when I started thinking about it. But so I didn't, so if like for the question, I didn't necessarily think I want to do a master's, what should I do a master's in? I just like looked around and I was looking at jobs first and then you might find something. So I would suggest, hang on, how did you phrase the question? Now I finish uni advice. Um, so yeah, I would just look around and see what you're interested in. And then if you find something you are interested in, you might see that it's better to do some degree in it or it doesn't have to be like a master's. There are loads of different types of courses I didn't even realise that are like postgraduate but aren't full masters. So they're just like short courses. Um, so I would just have a look and there's, is it Prospectus or Prospects, the website? And you literally can type in something you're interested in and it gives you like everything you need to know about the job and like whether you should get a degree in it or whether you don't really need to if you need to do any certain type of training that you could do on the job that sort of thing yeah uh, but yeah so I would suggest just literally looking around and you don't have to decide am I going to do a full-time job or a master's do you know what I mean just look around first um see what you're interested in 
but yeah so that's exciting news exciting Pat's still a student I'm gonna be using you again I know yeah (laughs) <laughs> like just two more years to piss about without getting a job <laughs> but that's not the reason I'm doing it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no but that's exciting because I've never really even thought about doing a master's yeah, mainly because everyone. my uni experience just I would literally can't think of anything worse personally to stay at uni um but yeah, that's exciting. I definitely think there's a lot more options than people think there is. Yeah. Definitely. So it's important to try and explore everything mm. that you can do. Like, I've been having a little look at jobs and stuff. Not anything like seriously, but just kind of browsing websites and stuff. Because I've always thought about wanting to go into teaching. Um, but my thing is I want to try and get experience in a school first before I decide yeah I'm going to be a teacher like I don't want to go straight on to a teaching degree because if I don't like it then that's just a waste of my time yeah um but it turns out I don't know if anyone knew but nowadays you've got to have like qualifications to even be a teaching assistant Mm. so they do a lot of um teaching assistant apprenticeships that I've been looking at but for me in my head that's like taking two steps forward and then three steps back yeah I know what you mean you can also do so my brother before he got into his job he's the same thing so he did it's a bit more boring but he did accounting <coughs> at uni yeah. and then didn't necessarily want to get into that like just being an accountant he wanted to look around and he thought he might want to be like a financial advisor and it's really boring to talk about because I don't really get all the different jobs but he was the same he didn't know whether to go back to uni and do like a more specific course or like learn about it so he just did work shadowing and you literally just email people companies or like schools whatever and just say can I shadow you for a while because I'm thinking of I interest in it. It. yeah and <laughs> it didn't get paid for like two months which is quite bad but then he understood more of the job and yeah you literally yeah. just follow people around but stuff like that like I, I don't think people realize there is so many options like, I didn't before I was like researching all this stuff yeah but yeah you need a degree to get into social work like no idea yeah but then at the same time it's like just because it might technically be like an apprenticeship is lower than a degree it doesn't mean I shouldn't do it do you know what I mean this is the way I'm trying to think about it because that's not the skills that I've learned in my degree so I need to go back to learn different skills that I might need in a different field yeah no I I think apprenticeship's really good as well like I don't know if you guys feel the same we've just been at school for our lives I have no idea going into like going into full-time job seems like terrifying oh yeah so I don't think I could I think I'd have to do some kind of like like graduate jobs apprenticeships internships is that what's my yeah thing um or like yeah I'm quite the another the second reason I decided to do the master's I mean I had to to get in if I wanted to be that as a job but um they the second year is full of um experience experience yeah so like I wouldn't just be like, right, end a degree, get a job now. I'd like have some experience first. Yeah. So like, yeah. that terrifies me. Like we've just been at school and education. Mm-hmm. So I think going the next step, like an apprenticeship or whatever equivalent is a really good idea. It's yeah. like, it is good for getting experience. Cause I don't think I'm going to come out with like a good degree. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, yeah. I think, I think, I think hopefully I can secure myself a tutor and I'll be happy with that because yeah. that's like I've had a hard time at uni like yeah. hating doing all the work and everything so if I can secure that yeah. then I do feel like if I wanted to do teaching they want you to have a two-one if I can secure myself some work experience and make myself kind of yeah you know I don't even know what I'm trying to say but if I can try and get experience then they might think do you know what she she's done that off her own back yeah I think yeah, it's, really. it's worth more than a degree like uni makes you feel like you've got to have a degree to have a good job but you don't do you know what I mean there's so many people that don't have degrees and stuff and it is all about yeah. experience yeah but at the same time like if you've just finished uni like there's no pressure no, no. like like you've just said we've been in school for bloody like 20 yeah. years of our lives like just enjoy yourself yeah, I had no idea what I want to do next like I only figured it out like what two weeks ago do you know what I mean like I <laughs> no idea before that I was just like what the hell's gonna happen next right so 
kind of linked to the previous topic that we're talking about somebody has put pressures of parents and other adults expecting you to get a job straight away after grad i think i just better say sorry you go you go um, it's a lot different for us now than it was for them i feel like it's obvious to say but i don't think my family anyway realize like my nan will be like are you applying for jobs so it's like yeah but it doesn't work like that do you know what I mean like yeah. it's a lot harder yeah I think my mum's asked me about 12 times since yeah lockdown like <laughs> if I'm not I'm doing... parent, just like random adults in the street do you know what I mean like I'll just walk have go on my walk and see a neighbour and they'll be like what are you doing now then after uni it's like give me a chance do you know what I mean like <laughs> yeah like bloody hell I just handed in my last piece I haven't even got my fucking results yeah. yet like chill out everyone yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't think uh, my parents aren't like like that like they're just like you need to try and figure out what you want to do if you want to stay in a part-time job for a little bit until you find something then go for it which I think is like I feel quite lucky that I have got a part-time job and I've got a source of income that yeah it's sort of keeping me afloat um not that I need it I don't really have any bills or it's just disposable income really um but oh I forgot what I was gonna say now (laughs) Like your parents not pressuring you. I was going somewhere with it, I promise. Yeah. Um, you just think of it. Um, I my parents are saying they're not like they don't pressure me. I wouldn't say that. I've like never. Again, never, you're the same. I don't think they intentionally do it. No, but it's more the questions. Like, so what do you think you're going to do now? Or like, have you started applying for jobs? What jobs are you looking at? It's like, oh my god. Like, I don't think they're being helpful, but they're actually stressing me out a lot. Yeah, they just want to talk about it, but they don't really. Yeah. Don't really I don't want to talk about it like <laughs> yeah what I was going to say is yeah my parents don't put any pressure on me but my dad always says oh yeah well I don't really know because I've been in a job since I was like 15 and it's mm-hmm. like well all right but things are a lot yeah. different nowadays not yeah. that he's like forcing me to get a job but like Hattie said things are so much different now than they were when our parents were our age mm-hmm. most of our parents probably did leave school at the age of 16 and go straight into work mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it, like, the pressure that we get from them is purely based from their experience and true, not true. our experience at all. That is true. And the thing I find the most difficult is the sort of, the types of jobs that I feel like no one really understands. So, like, even social work, they just thought that was, you know, kids in foster homes getting them into families when it's, like, so many different things. And like Charlotte, I'm sure you have it a lot. I can't even imagine with YouTube and even like the types of jobs into social media, like marketing and all that, it's all changed. And there's so many things that we want to get into that, or like doing a psychology degree, so many, like what are you going to do with that then? What does that mean? Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I feel like there's so, yeah, like not that they're so new careers, but they've che- like evolved with social media and like the modern times. Yeah. But there's so many new options for us and they just might not really understand it like youtube's a job like i I don't think like they sort of understand it when i say stuff like do i mean like talk about the money side of things and yeah everything but make them go oh right yeah like when i first started uni obviously i literally was on like probably 500 subscribers or something before uni um like in first year and i obviously never thought i was gonna be doing social media like part-time or whatever mm. so obviously forensics was where I was like looking to head down but then since all these opportunities have like evolved and grown and like I've been able to sort of like move myself into more of the social media work um that's where I want to head now whilst it's still in its prime do you know what I mean and I think it's oh, hard yeah, 100%. To understand that not not my parents as such but like it's hard for anyone to understand that why would you do a forensics degree if you're not going to go straight into crime scene investigation afterwards like do you know what I mean like get on the scene like it's like Jesus Christ like let me live a little second get your hazmat suit on yeah, yeah. it just yeah probably need it let's be honest I, yeah I think I everyone just thinks because you're doing a degree in it you have to go into it but then when I spin it around and say to my mum oh what did you do in what did you do in your A levels my mum's like history maths and whatever and I'm like oh are you doing are you a historian now then like do you know what I mean like what are you doing <laughs> what are you, are you doing what you did last in in your schooling life like no like you're doing what you enjoy so yeah my yeah. so many times my dad this is like obviously coming from a good place he yeah. doesn't realize how much he annoys me 
he um he was he's really interested in like psychology like when I talk to him about it he like sort of he gets it now that it's like not just um mind reading <laughs> um and <laughs> um but he said so many times like you should really do something with psychology in the future yeah that's and it's like that's how's vague is that what does that mean I don't even know what that means like I don't and also as if I haven't thought of that you know, I just <laughs> and it really gets to me like it's probably because of lockdown as well and like that's all the questions I've been asked and I just can't yeah. answer it anymore but it's just like and then that makes me not want to talk about it like I don't want to talk about jobs in the future and stuff because I just feel like they're just not going to get it yeah. but yeah it, it is like I just feel like well the adults around me don't really understand <laughs> what's happening yeah but. yeah but that's okay because there's so much there's so many jobs now that exist that probably didn't exist before yeah when they were our age and like charlotte was saying in in terms of like the work that you do on with social media and things like that you'd be stupid not to take those opportunities now while yeah. we're there and while it's like in in its prime like that's what yeah. everybody's life revolves around nowadays and it's so in demand and so like I think people don't realise how much we intake like even my mum sits on Facebook all day. Do you know what I mean? Like even our parents use it so much and don't realise that like imagine all the videos that my mum sits and watches on Facebook. Yeah, Somebody's right. taking the time to make them and upload them mm -hmm. and like respond to the comments and things like that. Like it is there's more to it than people probably realise. Not people our age, but probably like adults and yeah, stuff definitely. and just don't feel any pressure to please people because that's when you're going to fall into something that you don't like. Yeah. Yeah. You do what you do, you happy, and then they'll your parents will soon realise that was the best option for you. Surely. Exactly. Yeah. And obviously, if this is obviously talking like if you can do this, but I wouldn't rush into just any job. My brother, that's like the advice he gave me. He rushed into just work in a bank, like just going straight into Barclays, do you know what I mean? Like straight after uni and he hated it, but now he's like stuck in that sort of like area because he just sort of, that's just how it goes, isn't it? I'd say like, just do loads of research and stuff. And obviously that I'm saying that, you know, some people might have to like get a job after, I'm not talking for everyone, but I just wouldn't feel, well, not wouldn't feel like, don't like succumb to the pressure and think you have to have a job straight away. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you just got to do what makes you happy and do some research and stuff. And also like, yeah. We're talking as if it's like we're in a normal situation as well. Like it's gonna be extra hard now. Mm -hmm. I even know how it's gonna work. So mm -hmm. try not to feel pressure now because everyone's in the same situation. Like no one knows what the hell's going on. Okay, yeah. so one of them was oh my god, what have I done here? Yeah. It was the guilt of not being productive or exercising. Amazing. I was going to say, I think you just have to accept that people have different coping mechanisms as well. Because, like, I feel guilty when people are like, how are you being so productive? Because that's just how my brain works. Like, I will, I will be in a worse place if I'm not doing stuff, like, in mm -hmm. myself. So that's what forces me to do it. But, like, I think Grace Beverly, you know, Grace Fit, she spoke about it in one of her, like, captions yesterday and I felt like the exact same way as her like she feels like she can't say she's being productive because it's making people feel like shit but then she also mm -hmm. wants to like uplift people as well and like make people feel like they can do whatever they want so it's sort of like a yeah. weird situation um, well, I'd say there's different types of being productive as well mm -hmm. so like I feel really bad whenever I see people like going on like 5k runs and doing all these yeah. at-home workouts so I'm, I'm going on a walk but barely do you know what I mean like I I'm really unmotivated to like do any working out or whatever but then yeah I've been productive in other ways mm -hmm. so it's not there's so many different yeah. Yeah, like ways to be productive and also like now I'm not gonna lie it's the perfect time to not be productive if you don't want to be yeah like mm -hmm. genuinely if you just want to lie in bed Talking and you just want to like watch some tv and yeah, watch no, YouTube, no, yeah. just do it because if, I'm not like I'm not gonna pretend that I get up and do my workout like yeah I'll do it a few times a week I don't do it every day yeah. and like I don't do anything I don't do something like substantial every single day it, and it, I, but I don't think it's that important like sun's out get your sedent garden yeah and just enjoy yourself like and I know some some people do struggle with like oh my god I've got to go up I've got to do something but honestly like it's not it's not the end of the world if if you've got something to do you don't get it all done in one day spread it out 
there's no right way to be in this situation because it's never happened before. No one really knows what they're doing. I think as long as you go for a walk a day, like a walk a day, obviously have a day off if you want to, like on a Sunday, I barely like leave my fucking bed, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think even just like a nice walk is quite refreshing anyway. It's like nice to reflect and just chill, chill. Yeah, walk. I do think it's important to get outside. Yeah. At yeah. least, at well, least I, once a day. Yeah. yeah. Even when I have to go on a walk, because sometimes I just don't want to do it like, on my own because my mum works all the time. Um, I just sit in the garden, like just with my phone, just the fresh air, like just rather than being in the house all day. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Sit Even if I can't be asked, like I try and force myself to go on a little walk. And it, mm-hmm. always yeah. afterwards, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I did that. Why was I even contemplating like going out? Like it's always so yeah. much fun. Just getting some yeah. air and like walking the dog. I think when you're not, I don't know if just speaking for myself, but like when you're not doing that much, like even if you do going to walk a day at home workout you're not obviously doing as much as you would if you're not in lockdown makes me more unmotivated to do stuff like the more you don't do stuff that makes sense yeah so like, yeah. I, think, yeah, I do like force stuff to like go on a walk a day and yeah it makes you feel better mm-hmm. but yeah I think everyone's sort of feeling the same like it just makes you feel really unmotivated when you can't really do much yeah everybody's yeah. got different like ideas of what being productive is as well yeah. like yeah. Exactly. you could even if you do if you're struggling and you actually want to be productive but you find yourself not number one don't feel guilty anyway but maybe like the night before write something down that's the one thing you want to do that day mm-hmm. and, and it might make you more like inclined to do it. it but it doesn't have to be anything major like write a novel it could just be um make myself a nice breakfast yeah. or make sure i have like some fruit today or make sure that I go outside and read a bit of my book or mm. it, it doesn't have to be like anything dramatic does it no yeah like my bed I need to do that today that's on my list oh my god yesterday I changed my bed sheets I was sweating out yeah that's what's making nightmare. me nightmare oh that's my least favorite chore in the house <laughs> yeah do you know what I mean like out of anything like I'd rather do anything but change my bed sheets literally yeah. usually i'd make dom do it because he's got this like amazing technique and he just like whips yeah. it on me i, know what you I mean. have to like have a lie down halfway through yeah i like stand on my bed flapping it my mum just does this thing where she sort of folds it in and just pulls it and it's all just straight and out and i'm like what the hell have you done that and i'm I like there like, do that and, and like, it doesn't work yeah and she just goes oh just like sort of does this thing and i Oh, anyway, yeah. It's actually, that's a magical <laughs> skill, that is, because yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. No. Maybe that's why I hate it so much, because I'm so shit. <laughs> it's with scissors, isn't it? Do you know when you're doing, like, Christmas wrapping, and mum just goes, shh, and there's, like, one yeah. straight line? I always know. Or, curling the ribbon. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, curl the ribbon with my scissors, and, like, my mum just goes, whoosh, and I'm just, like, mine looks like it's got, like, a fold in it, and it's, like, yeah. eh. A little king. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, I think we've bottomed that one out. So if you feel guilty, hon, don't. Don't. <laughs> That's it, don't. Just don't. Just don't. You Hope can't. you enjoy your day. Let, the um, yeah. let us know what you're doing not being productive. We'd love to know. I think that's a good idea. Let, instead of asking us what we're doing, we want to know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Give us some ideas. I'm doing nothing. Drop us a message on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, must. Um, yeah. yeah, 100%. Right, last one. Um, arguably... <laughs> The most important topic of the entire podcast. Yeah. Um, this, when I saw this written down, it really did hit me quite hard. Great question. We'd never have thought of it ourselves. Um, yeah, it's quite a deep topic, and also like we've never seen it before on the podcast. So controversial? Would you say it's quite controversial? I'd say it is controversial. Yeah. Yeah. Taboo. <laughs> it's a little bit taboo. It's taboo. <laughs> it's it's three words. I'm just gonna say them. Bucket hat trend. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the title of this book. <laughs> right. God. Personally, yeah, controversially, controversially, I love the bucket hat trend. If you go down my Instagram, there's a few pictures of me wearing a bucket hat in the rain. I didn't know that. I wasn't, you know, because it came around before, didn't it? It all happened at school. I wasn't into it then. But I'm I'm into it now. Yeah, I appreciate I appreciate the bucket hat trend. I just have a moon head. Like I'm the moon emoji, so I can't wear bucket hats. Like that's the. That's I've the never point. tried one. Yeah, I'm I think you'd suit one hat. I think you'd suit one. 
I just think maybe if I if I wore it with sunglasses, it would work. But I don't think I'd wear, could do it without sunglasses. Does that make sense? Yeah. Get a pair of funky sunglasses. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll try and do it before the next podcast. I'll let you all. I'll update <laughs> you on. If I on the it. next podcast, <laughs> right? What we're thinking about doing on one of the next upcoming podcasts is um, having us all on, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Um, and recording it on Zoom and then putting it on YouTube, possibly. So for that, maybe we should all come on wearing a bucket hat and sunglasses. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> no, we should play a game like not. This is just an example. Like never have I ever like and have little cards and stuff. And we should actually yes. have like a, phys- like a physical episode. And we should have, we'll obviously have to direct people to watch the video though. I guess rather than Easy. whatever. But yeah. Yeah, we should definitely play some games or like do a takeaway talks or something like. Yeah, that'd be so fun. Like us. Oh having my god! Yeah. 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 We should all get <laughs> yeah the ASMR. Food. We should actually all order food and have like a chatty McBang. Yeah, so we should. Let's do it. I was just going to say, hopefully Meg and Beth will be able yeah. to join us. Yeah. But if not, <laughs> three of us, Domino's. Yeah. Oh. What is your classic Domino's order? My, I'll always get it in a deal with someone like so one of the so we'll all have have a pizza each sort of thing yeah wedges garlic bread what, what are you having bread. on your pizza so on my pizza are chicken and I've been having onions and peppers recently chicken and peppers. I think is it called a chicken supreme is that right yeah yeah that's I think that's my go-to Right, this is actually controversial. Please don't say veggie. Don't say veggie. No, barbecue base. Do you like it or do you not like it? I'm, if, say if I was having a pizza with you and you're not, I need to get it and I'd be like, that's fine. But I wouldn't get it for myself. I hate it. I I hate it. I thought you were going to say you wanted it. I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, no, that's so horrible. Barbecue base (laughs) makes me feel sick pedophiles get barbecue based i'm saying <laughs> i'm gay i'm saying it <laughs> but you know the weird thing like i actually like barbecue sauce like no, i could I, I could dip like a chip in it or whatever yeah. they just come with barbecue sauce don't they and i like that yeah them chicken strips i like that but like yeah i just it's too uh maybe i half a slice a whole pizza of barbecue base <laughs> i'm a tomato girl all the way so intense yeah, I get. <laughs> you some... like the garlic dip. Yeah. Mm, I do like that. I don't even know what I have on my pizza. Like, I, I either go for like a chicken supreme. Yeah. But I might add add a few bits. Mm-hmm. Bits and bobs, depending on what I'm feeling like. Sometimes I do fancy or, pizza. Yeah, or I'll have just like the normal vegetarian one. Mm. So I'm not like a meaty, get, not volcano, not the volcano. Like- I'm just not a meaty. I'm not a meaty girl on pizza. Like I don't like pepperoni really. Oh no, hell no. I used to pepperoni was my go-to, until, yeah, other stuff. Now I it wouldn't be. <laughs> it's like a ridiculous conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Right. In that case, let's let's wrap this little bitch up. Yeah. Um. <laughs> thanks for listening. Like a little bit. <laughs> This was literally like the most ratchet episode we've done, let's be honest. Me um, and Charlotte out of bed, open our laptops. <laughs> I messaged these two saying, hey guys, are you ready to Zoom? I've got, oh shit, I've just got out of bed. Oh my God, I've, I've like snoozed my alarm. The me- I literally opened my eyes and saw the message and I thought, shit. You ran about. I've got out of bed. Yeah, I was literally naked, like, what, yeah. ah! I was like, what do I do? <laughs> I, my words were shit, I thought it was at 12 and then I just got straight up. <laughs> So yeah, let's be honest. Um, but hey, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. It's been fun. I've enjoyed my little self. So hope you've all enjoyed listening. Mm-hmm. Um, please get in touch and let us know what you have on your pizza, and also if you like barbecue base or not. Yeah. Um, you will get ridiculed if you like barbecue base for a start. By <laughs> us anyway. I don't know about Megan or Beth. They might like it. I'm not sure. Megan won't. Megan won't know. <laughs> I'm not That's sure if Beth does. does. Yeah, we're not sure. So on yeah. Friday there will be um a poll up on our Instagram story of barbecue base or tomato base. Yeah, yeah. Do you think if people want to see takeaway talks, I'm just calling it takeaway yeah. talks. Yeah. 
they should choose what takeaway we get yeah yeah this is just explains our day today just like going off topic um yeah thanks for listening and we'll see ya hopefully next Next week week. yep or we won't see ya because like you don't want to see us right now (laughs) but you'll hear us it would definitely be at least us three yeah yes okay Woo-hoo. Okay. Woo. Woo. Bye, bitches. <laughs>